Hi, and welcome again at Learning is Fun. If you are watching my videos, you already knew that I have uh, discussed about the simple uh, aspects of present tense and simple aspect of past tense. Today, I am going to discuss simple or indefinite aspect of future tense. Before doing that, Let's know, let us know what things we are going to uh, discuss in this video. First, why do we use simple future tense, its features, examples, and how do we able to write uh, future, uh, future simple sentences using the future simple forms of verb and the use of will, shall, going to, and after that, I will again provide you some topic to write yourself, to develop your own writing skill. So, first, look at the verbs I have prepared here. Just look at them. If you remember the story of the caterpillar, you may find that I will eat nectar from flower. And there is another sentence, the chef will cook delicious food tomorrow. In these examples, you find one thing is common. The main verb always used with an auxiliary will. Let's see more examples. Here, you find two friends that they are, they are talking about something. What are they talking? They are talking. We are going to the beach this weekend and another lady, she is uh, saying that, okay, if uh, no one else will cook dinner, I will cook. In both of these conversation or both of these uh, sentences, you may find one thing is common. That is in the first example, we find we are going to beach, not now, not uh, happened in past but something after now that is in, in something which is not happening yet similarly will i cook i will cook the see the lady doesn't perform her action yet she we see is going to do it after now not here she is not performing now but it is something after now now let's see why it is? What is the reason? Why do we use simple future aspects of verb? It is sometimes we say lots of things. Some actions we are prepared or plan to do after now. It may be 5 minutes, 5 hours, 5 years, but not now, after now. So, we use simple future tense to say what will happen in future or things that we suddenly decide to do and one interesting thing is there you may find in every future tenses or in the sentence where future uh, simple future verb is used you may find the adverb like soon tomorrow next year in a year etc here another example is there i will inject the vaccine tomorrow let's see in this example, you find the main verb inject is used with an auxiliary will and definitely the adverb tomorrow also uh, heightens or also denotes the idea that action is not performed yet. It is something that the lady is uh, going to do after now. So, how do we write a simple future tense sentence or how do we use a simple future verb we use it up, uh, by using helping verbs like shall will or they are constructed from ill before the main verb always when it is very simple when you are uh, doing some simple tense or simple verb simple future verb you just use auxiliary verb such as uh, shall will or they are constructed from will 
and in few cases you may use going to although going to is uh, is going to are going to or, or am going to although it looks like a simple pres present continuous but their sense is the future tense they uh, imply the future aspects of verb now here there are more examples where you find how do we write first you have to write subject then auxiliary will then main verb and in another case you have to use subject then be verb be verb can be used in simple future tense like you have to use either am is or are then the then going to and after that the main verb is used so let's some more example he will buy her a present if i find that he is subject auxiliary verb will is used before the main verb buy similarly in this another example you may find that i am going to plan a holiday trip by car next week next week is that my plan is i am planning for not now it is for next week that is in future so and the verb i am look at the uh, verb we are be verb is used uh, always with i it is am going to and the main verb is plan now let's discuss about where do we use will in which uh, sphere or which where do we use it to first is that to uh, show or to say future prediction it uh, to uh, show promise request refusal or order or sometime to say about something in future condition you may use future uh, tense and you use the verb auxiliary verb will let's see some example now future prediction it will rain tomorrow it is i predict that it is my prediction that it will rain tomorrow or it may be a promise i will help you with your homework it is a promise in this uh, area you also use simple future tense by using auxiliary will or a future condition that is if it is doesn't rain we will go to the park here in that the condition is that if it is doesn't rain in that case we also use future uh, tense future simple uh, simple future aspects of verb and we must use will now let's see some structure how do we form it it is very easy in the left hand side you will find how affirmative the three variations of sentence that is affirmative negative and questions how do you, uh, you form affirmative just write subject at first then use will auxiliary will then main verb here there is there are the examples you find i pronoun there is subject here like i he who they he or she you have to use on you will then main verb go and you find that i did it you can read it the sentence in this way i will go to delhi next week he will go to delhi next week similarly and in case of negative sentence it is very as simple as uh, other you have already learned from my last videos how do you uh, use uh, the negatives in uh, your uh, simple present or in simple past just put not in between will auxiliary and the main verb this is very simple rule you have to put not in between will that is an auxiliary or and main verb and here subject always come first in case of negative also similarly you just read it with me they will not go to the party tomorrow they is a subject then comes will auxiliary will and in between will and main verb you find one not so to make it negative to make the negative sentence you just do it and the question or interrogation is more easy than ever that is you just place or you just change the position of auxiliary and the subject in case of interrogation you put 
auxiliary wheel at first and then subject and after that main verb. For example, will you go there? Uh, go there? Here, will come first, then subject and after that main verb. Okay. Now, let's see more examples. Here, I will inject the vaccine. You find subject, auxiliary, then main verb. When it is negative, I will not look at the structure. First will, then not, then inject. So, after subject will and not and inject the vaccine. Okay. In both in affirmative and in negative sentence, you have to put subject at the beginning. When it is negative, you just put a not in between auxiliary will and the main verb. But in case of interrogation, you have to put will before subject. The sentence start with will, then will I inject the vaccine. Then you find will first, then subject, then main verb. Now it's time to, uh, how, how do we use going to? Here, there are some uh, areas or there are some sentences when we are uh, predict something or making some prediction. Here, you find there is a picture, one uh, lion is running with honey and someone is uh, talking that be careful, bees are going to bite you. This is a prediction. As uh, the lion is stealing something and it is a prediction by someone that be careful unless the bees are going to bite you. Similarly, if you have a planned action, if you have a plan for your near future or you are planned to do something, you can use, you may use simple future with the help of be and going to. Here, Mary is going to organize a party. It is the plan of Mary. It is pre-planned. So, what about the structure? Structure is very simple. When it is simple future tense, uh, simple future aspects of verb, you use only by the B verb can be used either am, is or are before going. And after going to, you have to use main verb. Nothing is uh, difficult here. I am going to live uh, in Delhi next year. Okay. So here, I am going to live in Delhi uh, next year. Here, you may find that uh, going to and before as it is first person pronoun, you use am. In the next sentence, they are going to leave Sweden next year. Here, they are not going to leave Sweden before, in between auxiliary B and going to, you find the negative sign that is not. And in interrogation, the structure is always same or whenever, how many interrogative sentences you can write, you just put the auxiliary verb at the beginning of the sentence. So, sentence begins like that. Are you going to work in a bank? Now, the you, there is a difference between use and going to. What are they? When it is uh, will, will always state a future fact, your willingness or prediction. But in case of going to, it, uh, it is talking about when you are talking about your prior plan or a prediction with, you are giving some prediction with evidence, you use the uh, going to. Let's hear are two examples here. I will travel travel to Japan next year. Here you find it is your future facts or your willingness. You are, you are talking about your willingness or your uh, future facts. But I am going to study French at school. This is my plan. I am going to study. So when it is pre-planned and you have a plan, then you have to use uh, going to. But in other case, you have to use will. Here, there are more uh, uh, examples so that you can understand the difference more clearly that will is used always uh, to show some immediate decision. For example, uh, 
I will have some coffee now. It is my immediate decision. When you are making some immediate decision, you have to use will. But when it is your prior plan, you have planned something for future, it must be going to. I am going to visit my aunt next Friday. It is your plan about your next upcoming plan. And another differences are there when you are uh, predict something without evidence you are predict something for example here there is an example here i think india will win the match india may win or may not win it is my prediction so when you are giving a prediction without evidence you have to use will but here another example look at those black clouds it is going to rain in this case you are giving some evidence that black clouds are there so the possibilities of raining is high so when you are giving a prediction with evidence you have to use going to instead of will now of course there are some cases where going to and will both share the same meaning or they are the meaning is quite similar what about that i think it will rain tomorrow or i think it is going to rain tomorrow the meaning is same now which i uh, don't talk about yet that is the use of sell. I think all of you under uh, have a query. Why don't I say this yet? Because sell and will in uh, the traditional English they are used both as a similar in the similar sense to in uh, information to give you information prediction and to express interpersonal meaning such as request, order, offer, etc. For example, shall I open a window? I will break his name. In all these cases, in uh, traditionally, shall used. But in modern English, shall is used when subject is I, either I or we. But it is not very much popular. It is uh, if it is, it is only used by British. But in American English, shall is normally. Uh, not used there. In, uh, although if you wish to use shall or if you find some example, you must find that in case of interrogative sentence, shall can be still used. But in normal cases, shall is not used now because there is another reason behind it because you find that the constructed from ill. So, shall will become ill in modern English. So, there is the shall lost its popularity and shall is not widely use now here the example if you i told you that if you wish to make some uh, interrogation uh, where the subject is either i or we you may use shall shall i carry your bag shall we go out for a meal etc here are the exercise now whatever i have told you in this video if you watch it uh, very carefully, you can understand and you can do this exercise very easily. That is, complete each sentence by changing verb in the bracket to future forms of verb. Here, you uh, what I have told you, subject, then auxiliary will, then main verb. You just put will before the main verb because subject is already there. For example, I give you, I ask, here the main verb is ask, how do you use ask? Because I will ask a lot of questions. She will drive too fast. Here, the other verbs in the third example, turn, walk, bake, I think you can do it very easily. If you have any problem, please do comment in the comment section. I will definitely give you the answers. Now, here is a different type of exercise is given here. Why it is I have chosen this type of exercise? Because uh, when you understand the rule, you have to apply 
it and by applying it you can able to write a correct english that will help you to develop your writing skill so here there is there are some uh, picture prompts where and a phrase that the weekend start uh, tomorrow and ruby is going to be very busy write sentences using the picture prompts and use going to so you have to use going to and make very simple and easy sentences i have done two for you that is ruby is going to get up at 6 o'clock tomorrow he is going to take a cup of coffee these are the two sentences i already uh, prepared but you have to prepare the other from 3 to 10 you have to write the sentence by yourself i hope you understand the video as well so no more today thank you for listening i will soon come back with my new slides thank you very much